I mean, like lots of entrepreneurs, I wasn't that good at school. I went to school because I went to school. Um, I didn't ever think I was going to be a, a sort of a professional student. But I, I suppose, you know, you take out of these things what works for you. I, I, I think, you know, it's a little bit of a lottery. You pick up the things, I think, in life, the things that interest you. I mean, luckily, sort of, I've got a good memory. You know, I can add up. Um, you know, I, I sort of can get to things pretty quickly. I've got a good under, you know, you could talk to me about something. I can sort of get a quick analysis in my head, like it, don't like it, got a feel for it. So I think I, I sort of, you know, I wasn't interested in what happened in 1478 and suddenly think, well, how, what am I going to use that? So I, I think I took things that I thought I could use, you, you know, and put to use, which is probably what I did. Talk to people, engage with people, go and see people, pick up your phone, hello, how are you? Get off these, this, this horrible new world, which seems to be an obsession. So that's, to me, what we've got to get back to. There needs to be a, a bit of both. In a bad market, there are always different opportunities. I just feel that you've actually got to, what, as I said to you, it comes back to, get up in the morning, are you hungry? Are you, 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 you figure it out going to buy something, sell something, do something, there's something to do. If I was sort of trying, right, I'd, I'd be a mystery supplier. You know, I'd sort of call up and go and get myself to, you know, I'd, I'd figure a way to get an appointment. Like I said, this guy yesterday, he sent me an email, I called him up. Yeah, I looked at this, I thought, let me have a look. You know, now, you might be the lucky guy in the pile that day. it will be ignorant to say it doesn't help. But as I said, you know, to me, I'm, I love to meet bright people. And, and if I think they're worth a shot, give them a shot. I've got a property deal I'm working on in the States. So um, we're going on two, three weeks. So I said to my real estate guy yesterday, I said, go and get on the plane, lock yourself in a room. My phone will be on 24 seven. Do not come back to London till we own that building. Now, whatever the obstacles are, we'll figure it out. But I want, I want that building, you know, at, on the right terms. But I've actually got myself focused. I'm doing, getting on with my business. And he'll call me and say, right, these are the four obstacles to get it done. I said, yes, no, no, yes, do it. You know, and I can get in the zone. And if you, you know, I could have 10 different things going on, but I get in the zone on that particular moment on the thing I'm on. Today, all these kids, they're too easily distracted. Get focused. How badly do you want to win? You've got to want to win. Nobody will remember the silver medal winners at the Olympics. I would love to get people in this industry, trade and games, da 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 Boom, 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 boom. We had a meeting with the government. They said, you know, Right, where, I said, look, you do this, we'll do that, we're done. <laughs> Took three minutes. Let's go, let's build it. And we started with 240 kids. We've now got 700. Um, we get them work experience in 80 retailers. Last year we got 65% jobs at the end of term. Um, we're trying to still move on, improve it, drive it harder, see what we can do, um, all of those things. That's where we're going. Nothing made me want to go into retail. Um, I used to go with my mother, my mother actually, when I was like 13 years old to work on the weekends and she was in business <coughs> on her own. I lost my father when I was 12. So I used to go to business with her. She had la laundrettes, car showrooms, some different business. I used to go learn, meet people, work there. Just, you know, I enjoyed the, the engagement. Um, I left school, I got a job. Uh, with a shoe importer, family business, first people to bring shoes from Asia, China. In those days, I did four or five years, they taught me how to trade. I left there, um, did shoes for five minutes on my own. Didn't really like, didn't want to sort of do shoes. Went to, back to Asia, brief story. Went to see one of the people that supplied them, said, well, you know, do you want to help me? And somehow or other, I got into clothes. Um, started to buy stock lots, job lots. Uh, brought them back, sold them to retailers, and I started to import jeans. 
So that was sort of where I started on my own. And one day somebody offered me, a liquidator offered me an inventory of 10 stores that had gone bankrupt. Bought it, got it in my warehouse, had a look at it, sent it all to the dry cleaners, put it all on new hangers, thought, well, I'll open the shop. Never worked in the clothing business, never worked in a shop. Went out, found a shop, opened it. And, you know, sort of I could roll the movie for you for about three hours, but started there in 1979. Um, selling designer discount, found stocks, people phoned me up, bought stocks, taught myself how to buy, sell, work, operate. Bought, you know, briefly bought another two, three shops. Bought them, sold them, swapped them, changed them. Carried on importing jeans. And then, um, bought a jeans importer in 85 and then bought my first national chain which was Jean Genie in 1986. That was all the start of the journey so I started to buy companies instead of buying inventory and I, I taught myself. So I learned about the financing, how to buy, sell, shops, property and I've had over 30 years I've had five, I, I think I sat down and I've had about 5,000 stores over that period, bought and sold. Today we've got 2,500 UK. Um, gut feel, you know, work hard, like what I do.